quadratic inequalities. So we've seen quadratic equations before, but now we're going to look at what happens when we have a quadratic with an inequality. So let's go ahead and just look at an example, just something simple. x squared is greater than 4. So we can do this by just bringing everything to one side, and we can see that we can just subtract 4 from both sides, and we get x squared minus 4 is greater than 0. And we know this is the difference of two squares. So we can factorize this as x minus 2 and x plus 2 is greater than 0. And that's going to let us go ahead and sketch it on our number plane. So we know the intercepts are going to be minus 2 and 2. We're going to have a y-intercept of negative 4, and it's concave up because x squared is positive. So we're going to get something like that. And if we have a look at the original, original quadratic inequality, once we moved everything to one side, we want to know where the equation of the graph is greater than 0. And another way to think about it is just where is it above the x-axis. So we can see that it's above the x-axis here and here. Conversely, if it was less than, it would be where is it below the x-axis. And we can see that it's above the x-axis whenever the value of x is smaller or less than, minus 2, and whenever the value of x is bigger or greater than 2. So we can get our final answer is that the solution to this quadratic inequality is when x is less than minus 2 or when x is greater than 2. Let's have a look at one more example. Let's look at 2x squared minus x minus 3 is less than or equal to 0. So in this case, everything is on one side, so we don't have to move anything. All we have to do is factorize it. So to factorize this um, non-monic quadratic, we're going to go 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, and just make a little note of that. We're going to write 2x, because it's 2x squared, 2x, put it all over 2. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add up to negative 1. And that's going to be minus 3 and plus 2. Then we can factorize out one of the brackets to cancel with that 2 in the denominator, so that's that first one there, so we're going to get x plus 1 when we factorize the 2 out. 2x minus 3 all over 2 is less than or equal to 0, and we can cancel these out. And now we should be able to graph our parabola, or sketch our parabola. So we can get an x-intercept of minus 1, and another x-intercept, if you're solving this equaling to 0, we're going to get 3 on 2. And the y-intercept will just be minus 3. We're going to get something like, and it's concave up because x squared, the x squared term is positive. So we should get something like this for our parabola. And this time, it's saying, where is the parabola less than or equal to 0? Which means, where is it below the x-axis? And it's below the x-axis, all values there. So now, we know that our solution is going to be when x is between minus 1 and 3 on 2. And this time we write equal to because the original equation allowed original um, inequality allowed it to be equal to zero as well. Mm -hmm.